Well, this is kind of hard to believe, but the cell phone turned the big 4-0 today. Four decades ago, Motorola employee Marty Cooper made the first mobile phone call. Yeah, the phone weighed two and a half pounds, but over time, phones became smaller and lighter. Brittany Cooper for Idaho's First News joins us now in the studio with more on the story. Diane, many smartphones or even basic phones weigh only ounces. It's hard to imagine how phones used to look, especially for today's youth. Hello, Mr. Veldes, Mr. Chesterberti. What? What's wrong with me? Well, you can hear what's wrong with me. I've got laryngitis and horrible cough. <coughs> the Zach Morris cell phone is as infamous as the popular show Saved by the Bell. Generation X watched as Morris use the so-called brick phone to scheme his way through school. Watching them go from these huge bricks to smaller and smaller and smaller, and then now we're actually seeing them go bigger again, where we're blurring the lines between phones and tablets, and that I find that really interesting. Former school resource officer Ron Kirtland remembers carrying a bag phone when he worked for the sheriff's office. There were some other phones that basically you would hold up almost with two hands to your ear to talk to, and the reception wasn't that great, but yet, you know, it was mobile. It was nice. But no matter which phone you first possessed, an Ericsson phone back in 1997. It was very limited. I often had overage charges. <laughs> I bought my first cell phone in 1991. It was a Motorola StarTac. Everyone agrees. Phones over the years increased in capability and practicality. I think I've went through, I think, eight or a dozen phones, and I've went everything from the Motorola Razor, which was my first digital phone, to now a Samsung Note 2, which is my, <laughs> my brain, basically. Wherever I go, it goes. I have a smartphone, an iPhone, and I use my phone I don't know how many times a day. We're starting to see where phones are becoming enough of a commodity that they're developing everything depending on what works best for you. Smartphones do everything but clean the house. Although in the future, who knows, there might be an app for that. And if you think you paid a lot for your smartphone, the Motorola Dynatac cost a whopping $4,000. In the studio, Brittany Cooper, Idaho's First News.